and I'm very proud of the people working in the healthcare sector. If I'm in the Netherlands or now in Hungary, I see so dedicated people, dedicated, the doctors, the nurses, the, the staff, everybody in the hospitals. It is not a job nine to five. They get calls, they're working in the weekend, they see happy moments, they see sad moments, they are always there. And therefore I have always a lot of respect for the people working in the healthcare. What may also uh, make me very proud is that our healthcare system is already for 10, more than 10 years. The best in Europe, this year we're defeated by the Swiss, we are in the second place, but we are doing quite well in the Netherlands. And that has to do with that it is uh, that people can access it, access it, that we work on prevention, that we have uh, the information that this patients can. Uh, it is a challenge, and the challenge is what the ambassador also mentioned in the aging society. 8.4% in the Netherlands are older than 75 years. And in 2014, in the Netherlands, 14, almost 15%. Has a lot of consequences. Consequences that now one person is working uh, with seven in, in, the, in, the, in the healthcare, so it's one to seven in the population, and it will be one to four. You cannot do this. Um, you need new technologies, you need new innovations, you need uh, to live healthy because we have to find a solution because in 2050 we will be on this beautiful planet with 10 billion people and therefore we have to fight and we have to act now like in the Netherlands also people who do great things as uh, the artificial kidney uh, the, 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 micro, the, the microscope is also in the Netherlands um, I can go on these great thinkers they were thinking big and this is exactly what we need uh, with this incredible challenge that we are facing let me give you a perspective on what technology can do. I was uh, a few weeks ago in Washington, D.C. for the IMF meeting. And I saw on the TV an um, operation, surgery, done by a group of people in Boston. But the patient was in Washington and the robot, the robot with nurses and all, did the surgery. So that means that the time will come that actually you don't have to travel. You know, you can you can have you can have a, 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 a team of experts doing the surgery on you. By I had to walk around thinking big, and I was puzzled yesterday when I saw this example in the Netherlands, in Utrecht, the University of Utrecht, that they have for this terrible disease ALS, yeah. that you can move, etc., and that you have a speech computer driven by thought. Thank you very much. working uh, in the Netherlands and in some other countries on sustainability and transformation of healthcare. We are here in uh, Budapest uh, to discuss uh, the typical challenges which we often also share together, uh, which is uh, aging population, increasing chronic uh, conditions, um, uh, increasingly less resources in uh, uh, treating people um, uh, and spending on, uh, on healthcare. Uh, also in human resources. So uh, what we discussed was, uh, yeah, how can we uh, tackle this with the, the opportunities uh, we have from a technology point of view and from societal uh, uh, interventions, approaches. Um, I think it's uh, really interesting to see that uh, had this perception that uh, technology uh, is good in innovation with, that we should do it. It's also, and we come to the conclusion that it's very delicate on where do you have to invest in uh, technology. Uh, because we also see that technology only increases um, the healthcare cost and not so much improve health outcomes. Uh, so as the Netherlands, we have a lot to offer from our experience, but also because we are not only looking at what we do and experience in the Netherlands, but we are also a good uh, partner for debate, critical, uh, to look critically uh, to these uh, examples and, and learn from that with others to improve.
We developed a program, Reverse Diabetes 2 Now, in the Netherlands, six years ago. Very successful in the Netherlands, and we would like to bring it to Hungary, because we know that 700,000 people in Hungary have diabetes type so 2. We've got good news to bring. Uh, diabetes type 2 is a reversible disease by lifestyle change, not by medicine. And uh, we would love to bring it here to Hungary.